hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to destroy an object uh, in gado game engine so let's get started so first i'll just create one 2d scene and inside that i can just take i don't know uh, let's take what an area 2d uh, but before that what i'll do is i'll just take a sprite 2d for our parent scene okay and i i have some assets and i'll just drag and drop this background image just so that uh, because whenever we are trying to delete we delete an entire scene i mean it's possible to delete a child object as well but just for i think easy sake i'm uh, deploy i'm del deleting an a scene so here is our game scene okay so what again i'll just rename this as game so this will be the parent scene I'll just run this so that our current scene is selected. Okay. Now uh, what I need to do is uh, I'll just create one more scene. Inside that I'll create it as an area 2D. You can give it whatever uh, you feel like. And here I'll just name it as collision shape 2D. Uh, area 2D requires a collision shape as well as a sprite 2D. So I will just add those two. I'll, I'll just move the sprite 2D up. Now inside sprite 2D I can just get, take this uh, gado icon and for collision shape i'll just go to collision shape i don't know maybe a rectangle shape should be fine so i'll just move it like this move it like this and i'll move it like this okay uh, so yeah this is fine then a uh, command s to save uh, i'll just give it some proper name maybe i don't know object i'll just save this now i will just add this object uh, inside our parent scene so here is our object just to show it to and i'll just move it over here so that you guys can see it now uh, i want to uh, like typically you uh, destroy an object after a certain event but currently i want to things i want to keep things simple so i'll just take a timer node so one shot okay and i'll attach one script to this so that the one shot has been the timer runs only one time and here inside the timer i can attach this timeout node now here you can change the time to whatever you feel like wait time i'll just make it as i don't know uh, four seconds i guess and once this timeout happens uh, what we can do is we can just do q free so it will destroy this particular object once this four second passes so let's see if this works or not i'll just run this let's just wait four seconds and it doesn't run because we have not started our timer so you need to click on auto start as well so hopefully this works now so here you can see our object has disappeared so yeah that's how you can uh, delete an object using q free uh, yeah, that's it thank you for watching